so before we start, let's just show you again. You've seen in the private video, but there it is. That thing is cracked. And um, yeah, we got to replace it. So let's get to it. <music> So nothing to it, we got the charge pipe off. It does feel very cheap and just flimsy, but as you see right there, the housing kind of where it mounts to the throttle body, just cracked off, C-clip is missing. And yeah, so this one is no good. Obviously not gonna get a new one like this if it breaks under stock boost. So here we have the VRSF again. We're debating if we wanted to get a blow off valve or not, but we decided that nah, we'll just use stock diverter valves they're not too bad. If one goes bad, we could easily replace one or two. They're both like a hundred bucks and just whatever, keep driving. So for now it's stock boost, that should be okay. And um, yeah, so we're gonna mount the diverter valves right there. Tighten these little ports up. I think that's like methanol or whatever injection if you want, but we're definitely not doing that. Plug in the sensor, get the C-clip inside with the O-ring and yeah, that will be it. So let's go. Kind of found some oil around the throttle body, so we're gonna use some throttle body cleaner, as so. We got this. If you do have a little oil spill, this is how you could clean it up. Just spray that. Throttle body cleaner, or brake clean, and bam, it's gone. So what we're gonna do, use the same rag, and just spray it all over. Have it soaking. Then come right here. Got the throttle body, I'll get my flashlight. So just clean it up around and mainly in inside like this. Kind of open the flap a little bit. And as you can see, there's a little bit of, just like, you know, it's not crazy, but it's just normal 60,000 miles later. So it's not even bad at all. If you want, you could shine the engine and just show it to them. As you can see right there, engine is actually very good shape. There's no oil leaks or anything from this side. We do have that old O-ring. Let me try to get it out. We get them out. So we're not gonna reuse it. We got a new one for like five or six bucks. So that's trash. And we're gonna get the new charge pipe and install it now. All right, so here we have the throttle body side, we have the O-ring, and we're gonna show you guys how it goes inside. So this is a VRS pipe, and you could see the little notch indent right there. So we're gonna try to just lay it in like so. So here it is. Just kind of work your way up. And there you have it. So just try to show you if you could. That little indent in the middle and there you go. So you have a nice seal. Now we're gonna show you how the seat clip goes on. So you could have these facing towards the engine, towards the throttle body. Put it in the grooves like so, both sides. And just press it. And then this is gonna be locked position when it's on. We don't have any grease, but we're just gonna use a tiny bit of oil. Try not to spill it on my finger. Just lube up these interior pieces so they spin around easily. And that's good. Try to slow, uh, we're gonna slide it in later. We're finally 
finally getting the charge pipe on for the second time. <laughs> it's an easy peasy job. So, what happened was the first time we had this pipe underneath and we got the charge pipe, everything hooked up, but this was underneath with the diverter valve. So how are we gonna put the diverter valves on? So yeah, smart us. So now we're redoing this whole thing again. So I'm gonna put the C-clamp on right here into the grooves. Okay, slid in. Now we're just gonna try to put it in. Oh, there you go. That part is in. Now we're gonna proceed right here. So try to align these clamps. How do we want them? We want them like this. And like this. <sighs> Such an easy job. We're just making it hard on ourselves. You know what, I'm just gonna slide this one in like this. it around jiggle it okay, get this bottom piece be careful don't fart it can't happen you gotta be careful always yeah I just love these little rubber things in turbo systems they're the best I just killed the video we'll pretty much show you when it's done <laughs> All right, so we got the pipe finally back on for the second time. We got this on, this clamp. This clamp is on and connected to the pipe that goes to the intercooler. No gaps, everything is good. We tightened it, no gaps, no, everything is good. We got the diverter valves, got both of these clamps on, and we got the C-clamp on with the O-ring inside. So it looks like there's a slight play right here, but I checked. It seems like everything is already tight and secured, and it should have just a tiny bit of play but I guess we'll find out in a little bit. So I'm gonna try to snip these off, some dikes. Oh, I'm gonna put a uh, flashlight in my mouth, so I'm not gonna talk. Oh, oh no. These suck, so yeah, we can't really use that. <laughs> we got 15 extra horsepower, here we come. All right, so here it is. Finally got everything installed. Got the charge pipe on, got the intakes on. Um, the only thing happened, that clamp right there, that's a different one because the original one is a little smaller and it actually broke. So we're gonna have to get the other one. I mean, this one will do so for now, I guess, but the original one would be better. So we're gonna do that. But for now, just close that hood and about to go for a little test drive. All right, so we haven't heard it. We're just coasting the car. So we're gonna see if it has power again. And just, if you hear any turbos. Okay, I hear that. Looks like the power is back. <laughs> yeah, definitely hear the turbos a little bit. I feel the 15 horsepower difference. <laughs> okay, okay. Welcome YouTube. We're gonna do a slight little driver mod. No offense, but I do just have a little more experience driving. Watch me stall. Just finish off the video so the project was not hard we did struggle one of the clamps broke so that sucked we need to get a clamp 
And then we also noticed on the alternator where the positive terminal locks up, that cover is missing. So we're definitely gonna go get that cover. Um, try to get it at a junkyard or something because we need it as soon as possible. So we're gonna park the car, not gonna really drive it much more. And um, just from my prior experience, I used to have a Z4 with twin turbo, whatever, same motor. And when it had JB4, the intakes were a little bit louder, like that UPS truck. So they're a lot louder than they are now because, you know, you're just boosting more. So without it, you know, we're out. Thanks for watching.